It is Python on Hardware time. I missed you, Blinka. All right. First up, we have a new CircuitPython Alpha 5. Five alpha, yes. We have a couple optimizations. Some new boards were added, including two SparkFun boards. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, the Itsy Bitsy <coughs> NR52840, which is coming out soon. Yeah, we'll talk about it shortly. Some improvements and more. We're heading towards a beta 1, maybe after Supercon. Okay, we'll go over this a little bit later in the show. However, I wanted to mention this since a lot of the feathers are CircuitPython powered. We have a contest with Hackaday and DigiKey, Take Flight with Feather. Hackaday and DigiKey. DigiKey is the sponsor. And there's a bunch of different categories you can enter. We'll go over that later on in the show. But do check it out. And uh, we also have a, another Python powered project. Um, we have a Pi Portal that shows the number of days you have. So there's 55 days to enter, six hours and 39 minutes. Yes. So uh, this uses a past Adabox Pi Portal, or you can get the Pi Portal in the store. And this is the uh, countdown timer for how many days you have left to make a feather. And if you do a good job, we're going to make it. And I have a question. Do you have to purchase anything to enter this contest? No, no you're not. You can just come no. up with an idea. You can come up with an idea, design yeah. it any way you want, anything you like. We'll talk about like. that later in the show. Okay. Next up. We have costumes. It was Halloween. So on Halloween, we uh, got a ton of things in. Um, it was one of the biggest newsletters ever. And a lot of it was CircuitPython powered, LED powered, NeoPixel powered. And there was so much stuff that I not only had to uh, try to fit it into a newsletter, but I also had to make sure I celebrated all these folks who did cool projects. So I ended up just doing like a, a video supercut and linking to that. And then these are all the monster mass that happened uh, to be around during this time. This is the la latest Ada box. So all the things that can be Python powered seem to get into every Halloween costume out there. Just eyes, unending eyes, eyes everywhere. More eyes. More eyes. I sense a theme. Yeah. And then there was, yeah, more eyes. <laughs> more eyes. Okay. Um, so, speaking of new boards added, this was uh, one of the ones that you added. Yes. What is this? Coming soon, it's the NRF52840 Itsy Bitsy. It's a double-sided design because we couldn't fit all the goodness on one side. Uh, it's a very itsy board. Uh, comes with the NRF52840, some flash, uh, a dot star on the top, and an extra switch. So looking forward to this coming out soon. Okay. Um, other Python on hardware projects we did. So there's this thing going around right now where it's uh, team trees, and whoever plants the most trees wins, I guess. Um, yay, Earth. I think we win. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever planet gets most trees on it. Um, I think Elon Musk just decided to, I think he's leading the, the tree scoreboard or something. But uh, we, we showed how to use Dash Block, which is an easy way to display things like Kickstarter and more. We also used it on our own site. And this was uh, the Black Girls Code campaign that we did, where we did a buy one, give one. Uh, we have since added another 100, so we'll be adding this back as well. Um, this is kind of neat. This was uh, a full-on uh, blackjack game in uh, Circuit Python. Mm -hmm. You saw this project, yeah. right? Yeah, you could do you could do this level of gaming on a very uh, you know small microcontroller and in Circuit Python. Yeah, I like how they use like the touch screen for the different commands, and then they yeah. use sprite sheets for the the suites and the characters yeah, and. That's cool. uh, and yeah, you can play blackjack and get right. your pipe roll. Um, this is some hardware that's coming out. This is Tronkit. Just fun to say. Tronkit. Uh, this is more hardware that is coming out. This is from Keith. And Keith is really into getting robotics and Lego and microcontrollers working together. So this will be on Crowd Supply soon. It is called the Snackboard, a Python controller, a Python microcontroller for Lego. Uh, this one just came out, uh, or I should say it's a coming soon. Uh, this is from Wilderness Labs, and it is a Feather compatible. This is a, I think this is called the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Borka, name of it. Let me try to find where it is here. It uh, says Borka on the file name. Yeah, I think Bokra. that's, a, yeah, Bokra. And it's a Feather compatible. Um, 
So more Feather stuff coming in and more stuff compatible with CircuitPython. Founder of Python is retiring from Dropbox, and there was a great article, because he was working at uh, Dropbox, um, but this quote in particular stood out. When asked, I would give my opinion that maintainable code is more important than clever code. And I think that's why a lot of people like Python, mm -hmm. is because you can look at it and maintain it, and you can do stuff with it. And so I thought I would pull this quote out, and that was the title of the newsletter for our Python and Hardware newsletter this week, because I think this is why a lot of people are enjoying Python on electronics. There's many reasons, but I think this is one of the reasons. Um, I think Bill is in the chat, um, Bill Binko, and I think probably since he helps the assistive technology world, the maintainability of code is probably more important than like, look how clever you are yeah. in C. So anyways, um, Microbit has a new Python editor. Uh, we link to that in the newsletter. If you're interested in trying it out, it was in beta, but now I think they're ready to release it. Fonny editor, um, which has some CircuitPython and MicroPython features, is out. And we're going to play a little video in a bit, but uh, just a kind of fun milestone for all of us. Not only is CircuitPython supported in VS Code, but they have a Python device simulator. It's Circuit Playground, and you can simulate a Circuit Playground inside of Visual Studio Code. So you don't even need a Circuit Python and, or Circuit Playground device to run Circuit Python. You can emulate it right inside of VS Code. And that is Python and Hardware News. Yay! That's a lot of stuff. Okay.